Hi everyone, um, I'm gonna share a mini album that I made for my mom for Mother's Day and this post isn't gonna, like this video is not gonna be posted until after Mother's Day um, just because she does check my YouTube channel every now and then and she checks my blog every now and then so um, I have still photos that I took to post on my blog but that won't be until after Sunday. And then, um, this is the video that I'm going to share showing you the actual album. Um, I used this paper pack from Walmart, and it's made by Colorbox, and it's called Truffle, and it's got all these browns and creams and butterflies and birds and stuff so it's got the stickers and the punch outs and all the paper um, I've shown you guys these pads before I love these because you don't have to worry about a whole ton of embellishments to try to match with it because it already comes with them and then you can just add like flowers and bling and stuff like that so those are great for little minis like this now this mini um, was created using a tutorial done by um, Laura Dennison over at Follow the Paper Trail. Um, it's one of her earlier um, Z Fold 6x9 envelope albums that she made. Um, I will put her um, YouTube link in the description so you guys can go check it out and I'll just link you directly to the video um, so you can see how it's made. I've made several of these and given them away. Um, to friends and family and stuff and they're a lot of fun they're really cute and I like the way they turn out and you can also like I just have the gold ones but you can buy white bags or envelopes also so this is the one I did for my mom I started this book months ago and then just got into doing a whole bunch of other stuff so I just kind of set it aside and then I finished it um, yesterday so this is the cover and this paper, I don't know if you can see, I'm at my counter instead of my table, so the lighting and stuff is different. And it sounds echoey in here because I don't have a lot on my walls yet, sorry. <laughs> um, so this kind of has like some glitter paper. And then I cut Mom out on my Cricut using Ashland's Alphabet. And it's layered with a dark brown. And the, the paper I used is Recollections paper, and it's kind of like a metallic or pearlescent kind of paper. And then I have these ivory colored leaves I got in the wedding section, um, Michael's Hobby Lobby or something like that. And then these are Recollections flowers and I just put some bling in the center and then hot glue all this on. And then I just have a bunch of ribbon. There's some sheer ribbon, some brown, and some cream colored ribbon on the side. So it's bound with three rings. inside the cover I just put one of the butterfly stickers right there and then this is how the album looks there's this pocket here that you create with the bottom half or the bottom section um, of one of the six by nine envelopes so you have to fold it um, and like I said she'll show you I mean if you go to the video she gives you all the dimensions and everything and then um, I just put a brad here in the, in the center to create a pocket for two tags. And so the tags are just matted and then I have a little journaling stamp on the other side and they're both the same. So it's pretty consistent throughout the album. And then just some ribbon up here. And then this is from the punch out letters that came with the collection. And then on this side I just put a little butterfly sticker here. And so there's lots of space in here for a ton of photos. And this is one of the punch outs. I just put a brad on it. And then all the flowers, um, I crocheted all these flowers and put a bling in the middle of each one. And so these pull out and you have a larger tag and I just matted it with some of the paper and then put some of the punch out embellishments. And I didn't pop any of these up because they are in the pocket. So I didn't want them to get smashed or anything. So it's not a chunky mini. Um, like I said in several videos before, I don't do a lot of chunky minis. 
junkiest one is the last one that I um, just posted of my sister's. It's pretty junky. <laughs> Um, but this one's fairly flat, so there's a few spots. Like this butterfly is popped up on these itty bitty pop dots here. And then this, this pulls out here. And I just left these blank so she can put some small pictures and then some journaling on the back if she wants. And that just slides back in there. Oops. And I have... This is one of the stickers, and I backed it on some cardstock and then just popped it up so it would go over the flap. And then this part opens up. This is a coin envelope um, that you attach to the 6x9, so it creates this little flap here. And then I just have a little mat, and I stamped memories. And then there's a spot for a larger photo. And the whole book is, it. every page is like that, so um, this is the little brad to create the two pockets and then there's these tags again with a journaling spot on that side and then some of the stickers these little butterflies and it says perfect so there's lots of I'll show you guys the tags this one says friends there's another flower I did, and I alternated the brown and the cream, or tan, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I don't know. I just go with whatever matches. And then this butterfly, I actually, I cut this out. Um, it's layered. It's got a, a brown behind it and this cream color. I cut this out on my Cricut. Um, again, from the Ashlands alphabet, there's some icons in there. And this butterfly is just so pretty. So I did that. And this flips open and this is, she can put like a longer photo here. And then I did this little photo mat and used my Martha Stewart butterfly punch around. And then I have this little journaling stamp and then I punched it out with, um, I think this is a one and a half inch um, scallop punch. And then I pop dotted this little butterfly here on um, a thinner pop dot, not too much. And then here's some more of the letters from the collection. And this one opens and I just put a bird here. And these have mats and then journaling on that side. And it kind of alternates light, dark, light, dark, just so it wasn't all the same. And then a large spot for a photo. And then this mat. This is memories. So I thought this would be neat to put like um, older pictures of like her family because the colors are so um, kind of muted. They're not, I mean it's not really black and white but they're um, better for older photos like the sepia tones and things like that. This flap opens and there's another map and then just a big space for a photo. And then again, the little mat with the journaling on the back. These journaling um, stamps, they're a Fisker's journaling stamps. Um, I think you can get a closer look at them in my stamp storage video. There's some more spots for pictures and another tag. It's a smile. And that one has a bird instead of a butterfly. There wasn't a lot of birds. There were some more butterflies than there were birds in this, but that's okay because she's not really a big, huge bird person. <laughs> she's kind of afraid of birds. Um, and here is, I keep bending it. Here's another one of the butterflies I did. I just did two of them. And then another butterfly mat with another little journaling spot there. And some more letters from the collection. And the last the tags here. And this slips in there. And then the last page, there's just a little butterfly sticker here. And this mat says love. It goes in there. And then this is the last 
back page and it says let's take time to enjoy these moments now, I believe that's a Heidi Gray stamp from uh, I don't remember which set but from that just says family and then there's another butterfly over here I put on there and then I just used my little homemade just for you by I got this little stamp I believe it was Hobby Lobby and it was half off so it was like two dollars and I just stamped it with my memento black ink and then I embossed it and then I signed my name and put the year so that is my mom's Mother's Day mini um, pretty simple like I said it's not real chunky it does kind of this part stands up a little more but I guess if you had bigger rings it would close a little better but it stands up just fine when it's open like that so I think she's gonna like it because her um, her living room is all done in like these browns and stuff she likes these kind of fall colors so I think she'll like it I'm gonna give that to her when she comes over on Sunday so that is the newest video I have for you guys and um, I have some projects rolling around in my head nothing new um just some more minis that i want to get done and some end of the school teacher gifts and things like that so um maybe i'll come up with something new or i'll find something and get inspired by that so i hope you all all the moms out there have a fantastic mother's day um i probably won't be posting um, anything over the weekend. I'm going to be out on Saturday most of the day and then Sunday like I said my mom's coming over and it's Mother's Day so I'm not going to spend the time on the computer. Um, so hopefully I will have some more coming up next week or so. So all you moms have a great Mother's Day and I will see you guys soon. Bye!